Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Winter fun with Daddy. One winter's day, Daddy decided to bring the kitty cats to a park for some fun sledding on the snowy slopes. We'll have a great time mm. playing in the snow with Daddy. <laughs> wow, this is great. We can do whatever we want. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Kittens, two things. Listen when I tell you something, and we have to be home by lunchtime. Wow. There were so many slopes, they didn't know which one to choose. I want to ride huh? down this one. I want to go on uh, that one. Oh. No, that one over there. Uh, well, now, kittens, we can only stay for a few hours. Come on, we have to hurry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, time flies when you're having fun. Uh. Kittens, no taking naps in the snow. <laughs> okay, well, it's time we headed home. Aww. But we haven't even had a chance to slide down the biggest slope. <laughs> well, I suppose we can do one more run. To get to the top of the highest slope, Daddy and the kittens needed to ride a special lift. Okay, keep your scarf on. It, it's windy up here. But, Dad, I'm really hot. And plus, there's no wind here at all. Whoa! Aww. That wouldn't happen if you'd listen to me. Now we have to go rescue your scarf. <laughs> well, hurry mm. up. Hey, I wonder, if I fall into a snow pile down there, will I turn into a big snowball? <laughs> Oh, thank you. Ha! It would be really fun. Oh, I wonder how far down you can ride this slope. Oh, yeah. Remember, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> 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 that was awesome! And now we must rescue Cookie Scarf from the tree. Uh -huh. now don't shake the tree or you'll get covered with snow! <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you that would happen. <laughs> uh, now we need to head home, yes? Huh? Uh, what's wrong? The kittens wanted to go for one more ride. The three of you promise we'll leave right after this? Sure, Daddy! But then the snow started falling. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one of these snow piles is our car. We really need to get out of here. <laughs> is green. It's not ours. This one's blue. Not ours. It's red. Hey, everyone, I think I found our car. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for digging my car out of that mountain of snow. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so tired and cold and I'm really hungry. <laughs> Me too, Pudding. None of this would have happened if we listened to Daddy in the first place. <laughs> it's great that you understand that, kittens. But right now we need to solve the witch's our car mystery. I have a really good idea. Daddy should click the beeper on his key. <laughs> I guess I should have thought of that in the first place. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> well, let's dig our car out of the snow and head home. Mommy's expecting us. By listening to Daddy and working together, the kittens made it back for lunch with Mommy, happy and excited to be home after a morning on the slopes. Inventing an invention. One day, the kittens were walking past their friend Dart's house. Huh? Hi, Hi there. there. Hi there. Hello, Dart. We're headed to the park. Do you want to come? I can't. I've been trying to invent something useful, but unfortunately, I'm finding it really tricky. 
We could help you with your problem. A bunch of heads are better than one. Together we would have one, two, three, four heads. We'll, we'll help, help you. you. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. A good invention needs to be really useful. Huh, could we make an invention that would do all my teeth brushing for me? <laughs> hey, my teeth are up here. Whoa. <laughs> It's probably a little easier to just brush your own teeth. You're right. How about a boiled onion detector? Which would tell you if what you're eating has any onions in it. Onions are so yucky, they must be stopped. Huh? Onions detected. Uh, onions detected. Uh, Run for your lives. There are onions in the soup. Yeah. You could just ask if there are any onions in your dinner. You're right, it would. What about a machine that would help you with deciding things? Hmm, which one should I wear? Ah, thanks a lot. If there were inventions like that, everybody would just stop thinking for themselves. Darling, have a great day. I'm off to work. Uh, oh my. Did you pick this outfit yourself, dear? <laughs> nah, this thing does all my thinking for me. Oh, yeah, bad idea. What about a machine that takes your hat off? Uh, or one that'll knock on a door? Or fluff up pillows? Or, or, ah. Uh... We've got nothing good. See what I mean? I've been trying to invent a useful invention all day and not a thing. I have a really good idea. We need to go for a walk. Mommy always says if you're stuck on something, you should take huh? a break and go for a nice walk. You're right. What Dart needs is some fresh air and sunshine. Ah. The kittens had lots of fun at the playground. Dart didn't think about inventing his invention the whole time. <laughs> it's really good we decided to take a break. It's a beautiful day. Oh, Eureka! Huh? Taking a break! I think I have my invention. The next day, Dart invited the kittens over to show off his useful invention. My super useful invention will remind you to take breaks regularly. Wow, great! When the alarm sounds, that means it's time for a break. The arrow picks a fun thing to do while you take the break. Like riding a bike. That's, That's brilliant! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to his friends, the kitty cats, Dart found out that it's great to take a break if you're stuck on something, especially if you'd like to invent an amazing invention. Old things, new thing. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to get rid of all the things in the house that were broken. What's going on? Are we moving or something? We're moving out all the things we don't need in the house. <laughs> they're all moving to the junkyard. Oh, which is where they belong. Kittens, if there's something you don't need anymore, just add it to the pile. You'll have more room to play once your old stuff is gone. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens decided to go through the toy box. Mm, a train engine without wheels. Guess I don't need this anymore. I don't need it either. Me neither. One for the junkyard. 
What about this baby rattle, guys? I don't need it. I don't need it. I would like to keep that to give to my little kitten doll. Then it stays, right? Uh, what's next? <laughs> Look what I found at the bottom! Ah, it's my old tricycle. I used to love it so much. It's way too small for any of us to ride. Mm. Another junkyard. No, wait. Not this. Uh, uh, what if I want to ride it again someday? But why? You've got a bicycle now, Pudding. Sure, but look. My bike only has two wheels, but this has three. But, um, that thing isn't fast at all. Sure it is. Just watch me. Pudding decided to ride the tricycle to the playground. Pudding, it'll be winter by the time you get here riding on that thing. Hi there. Hey, hey guys. guys. Hey, guys. Uh, what are you on, Pudding? I thought tricycles were just for little kittens. No, they're not. Clowns ride them all the time, and clouds are super awesome. But, Pudding, you're not a little kitten or a clown. Why do you need to keep that tricycle? Well, uh, it's easier to balance on a tricycle. <laughs> and you can ride around at a gentle pace and look at all of nature's wonders. Ah. Uh. <sighs> That's kind of true. <laughs> How's it going, kittens? Have you sorted out the things you do and don't want to keep? We kind of did. Uh, hey, where's Pudding? On his way home as fast as he can ride. He's on the tricycle he had when he was a little kitten. <laughs> Pudding, why are you riding the old tricycle? It's for tiny kittens. You're a big boy now. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying that I need it. I just used to love riding it very much. Along paths, over puddles, everywhere. <laughs> How can I just send it to the junkyard after all that? It just seems wrong. There's nothing to worry about, darling. We were never planning to send your tricycle to the junkyard. Really? If it isn't broken, it won't get thrown away. If something is still in good shape, we'll give it to someone who can use it. That sounds wonderful. Look here. Hi, kittens. Pudding's tricycle went to his baby cousin. He'll give it a good home. Thank you, brother. And thank you, Pudding, too. <laughs> All right, thank your cousin Pudding for the tricycle. <laughs> wow, that's great. Looks like he loves riding the tricycle as much as I did back when I was a little kitten. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> so the kitten saw that you can give away the things you've grown out of. They might be old for you, but they're new and exciting for someone else. A night in a forest. One day, Mommy and Daddy woke the kittens up very early in the morning. Time to rise and shine, kittens. Today we're driving to a big nature reserve where we're camping out tonight. Camping? For real? Are we sleeping in a tent? Will we cook on a campfire? So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The nature reserve had special spots for camping. Well, no free spots here. Let's drive a bit further. Oh, looks like this one's full as well. After driving around the nature reserve for an hour, Daddy still couldn't find a free camping spot. Are we ever gonna get there? I'm so tired. Me too, and I'm very hungry. And uh... I'm thirsty. Try to be patient, kittens. We'll drive a bit further into the reserve and find a perfectly lovely campsite. The trees are whizzing by really fast. Uh, well, the trees have stopped whizzing. We'll be stuck here for the rest of our lives. 
Now don't give up, kittens. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> I'll go and gather some firewood while you help your father with putting the tent up. Oh, huh? I think I forgot to pack the pegs for the tent. We need them to hold the tent in place. If the tent won't work, will we have to just sleep out on the cold, hard ground? What if it rains? Oh, then we can all sleep in the car. Uh, uh, It'd be pretty cramped. Uh, uh, yeah, but in the car at least we'd be safe from all the scary forest creatures. There's lots of mosquitoes around too. <laughs> Nope, I do not want to spend the night in these woods. Neither do I. <laughs> Daddy, please get Mom. We want to go home. Yeah, home isn't full of big mosquitoes. Or other scary forest beasts. Ah, relax, kittens. We're in a special nature reserve. No scary creatures live in this forest. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Kittens, your scary forest creature is Mommy. <laughs> Goodness, Daddy's so very funny. I have been gathering dry twigs for our campfire. They weren't easy to find, but I kept on till I found them. Mommy just delivered a solution to our little tent problem. I've got a really good idea. We should all help fix the tent together and we'll have a super night sleeping in the woods. Soon, the kittens forgot all about their fears and started to have a lovely time in the outdoors. Um, <sighs> kittens, it's time for bed. Good, Good night, night, Mommy. Good night, Good night kittens. kittens. Move over a bit. Ah, uh, there are mosquitoes in here. And they are hungry for us creatures. They're pretty big, too. Good thing I brought the anti-scary forest creature spray. <laughs> ah. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Once the kittens settled down and dug in to help out, they had a wonderful time camping. Surprise! It was a holiday, National Kittens Day. A special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This kitten's day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome ah. one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge. Wow, that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy <laughs> did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> It's so big, it could hold all the parts of a real-life pirate ship. All hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big, it could have almost anything inside. Find out what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a Kitten's Day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
The kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now. That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. But we still have to pretend to be surprised and happy when we open it again later, or Mommy and Daddy will be disappointed. <sighs> Kittens, the time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> we already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Whoa! Oh, wow, look, look at that! Look at that! It's a magic town with clocks! And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day. And they realized that surprises are worth waiting for. Learning to fly. One day, Daddy brought home a remote-controlled flying toy. Daddy, what is that? It's a quadcopter drone. It's like a tiny helicopter with four rotors instead of one. You control it with a remote just like a toy car? Amazing! Can I play with the drone, too? Me first! Give me the controller! I want to try, too, Daddy. Kitten dears, I'm very sorry. But this is a toy that's only for grown-up cats, like your daddy. <laughs> It's not easy to control it. It's better to fly outside. In a little while, we'll go out and try it together. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But later on, I have to finish what I was doing first. You can look at the quadcopter all you want, but be careful and don't try to fly it. But toys are for kittens, aren't they? Not for grown-up cats. Yeah, it's not like we couldn't figure out how to make the quadcopter fly without Daddy's help. I guess we are the toy experts, so it should be fine. But shouldn't we take it outside? There's more room for flying there. Hi, guys. Look what we brought with us. Wow, that is really cool. My uncle has one just like it. You really know how to fly it? Of course. It's really not that hard. Oh, it's hopeless. 
useless. We'll never get it down now. What are we gonna tell Daddy? Huh? There's only one thing we can tell him. We have to tell him the truth. Daddy! Aha! Uh -huh. So are you ready for your first flying lesson? We'll hand me that controller and we'll head outside for our very first flight. We're sorry, Daddy. We thought we could do it ourselves. We already took the drone out. We tried to make it fly, but we had trouble controlling it. And now it's stuck in our chimney. Huh? The chimney on the roof outside? Uh, oh, my kittens, I had reasons for telling you not to fly this by yourselves. You could have broken the quadcopter or words hurt someone. Yeah, I guess we didn't really think about all that. I won't take anything without permission ever again, I promise. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that, kittens. And it seems our quadcopter isn't broken, so that's good, too. Hooray! <laughs> I'm guessing the controller's broken, and that's why we couldn't fly it right. No, the controller's just fine. Trying to fly a drone like this is a little difficult, and that's why I said it was a toy for grown-ups. <laughs> Daddy, you're like an ace pilot. We'll never be able to fly the drone like that. Sure we will, when we get really, really old, just like Daddy. Probably earlier than that, you just need to learn and practice. But never without Daddy there, to teach you and to supervise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That is how the kitty cats learn that some toys are more complicated and can only be played with when you're with a grown-up who can help you. <laughs> Cookie's Scooter Skills. One day, the kitten saw a commercial showing a cat on a super fab scooter. Oh, wow! Look how cool that scooter is! I want to do that, too! Super Skill Scooters are so cool, they'll make you cooler than this cool cat. Awesome! Daddy, I need the cool scooter from the commercial. I've been saving up. I want to use my money to get it. Ah, so an ordinary scooter simply won't do? No, a normal one doesn't come close to the same level of coolness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, since you're paying for most of it, I guess we better get the cool one. Uh, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! At the store, Cookie bought everything he needed to look just like the cat in the TV commercial. Cookie, you look like the coolest cat of all time. You do look quite handsome. Now I'm going to be able to do some super cool tricks. Watch this. Whoa. Now, was that a cool trick or not? Not. Falling's not cool at all. It's a really good thing that Cookie's wearing a helmet and pads. I'm only warming up, so I'll be even cooler than the coolest cat who ever lived. Uh-uh. <laughs> Something's wrong with this dumb little ramp, obviously. How about instead I just jump over the sandbox? Whoa. Turns out you're the coolest cat never. Which doesn't look handsome at all. I know why none of my tricks are working. Obviously, the scooter's broken. You need to take it to the place you got it and trade it in for a good one. Daddy and the kittens went to the store to let the sales cat examine the scooter. There's nothing wrong with this scooter. In fact, it's in perfect working order. Yeah? Then could my helmet be messed up? Nothing wrong with the helmet. What about the... Your safety pads are also just fine. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. We'll get going then. Maybe it just fixed itself on the way here somehow. Cookie, what part exactly was broken? Cookie couldn't do super cool stunts, like the awesome rider on TV. Well, since we've learned it isn't broken, maybe you can do cool tricks now. 
Okay, I'll try. I'm going to ride down these oh. steps. Cookie, stop! Cookie, you don't know how to ride downstairs, and I don't either. Does that mean that the cool TV cat can't really do them? And the super skill scooter isn't really cool at all? Are they just lying about it? <laughs> Not at all. That cat on TV can really do those cool tricks. Come with me. I'll show you what I mean. Daddy and the kittens went to the skate park, where the cat from the commercial was practicing. <gasps> oh! Wow! I can't make my scooter do all that, even though I've got the same exact model you have. <laughs> I can do all this stuff on my scooter because I practice all the time. Like, for hours and hours every day. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, so then it's not the scooter that's cool, but the rider. I have a really good idea. Cookie just needs some time to practice. If he does, soon he'll be doing lots of super cool tricks. Yeah, that's right. I'd be glad to give the little dude a lesson or two. So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! The kittens learned that every skill requires practice. Then, you can do cool tricks on any scooter. Junior archaeologists. The kittens and Mustard were watching a TV show about archaeology, digging up the past. Whew. A very long time ago, primitive tribes used to live on this very spot. Look here. The ground below us is sure to be full of interesting stuff from way back in time. Are you working on the dig all by yourself? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, not many cats want to be archaeologists. Most cats don't have the patience, and they'd rather just watch TV all the time. I feel sorry for the archaeologist. Hey, should we go and help with this search for ancient things? Hey, yeah, it'll be just like we're looking for treasure. What fun! I wouldn't miss this. What if I found something valuable? That settles it. Let's dig like real archaeologists. Awesome! Bee-wow, 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 bee-wow! My, my, darling. It looks like you've got some fun plans for the weekend. Huh? The next morning, Daddy bought the kittens special pith helmets and drove them to the dig. Ooh! A lot of space to dig. We got here too early. The archaeologist is probably still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been to bed. So, good morning. How can I help you? Good, good morning, morning sir. sir. These youngsters have decided to become archaeologists, so they came up here to help you dig up ancient things. That's just excellent. Are you ready to work very hard and be extremely patient? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can start on plot three. Mm -hmm. I haven't dug over there yet. Awesome! awesome. Good luck there, young fella. <laughs> the kittens dug patiently for a long time, but didn't find anything. I bet there wasn't ever an ancient tribe living here. And there's no treasure to be found either. Ah, you may be right. Who knows? The old archaeologist knows there's something down here. He wouldn't be working that hard if there was nothing to find. Let's all dig in different places. If we try that, surely one of us will find some treasure. This time, the kittens did find a lot of stuff, but none of it turned out to be ancient at all. Well, I was right. Nothing valuable to dig up here. But we just need to be patient, like real archaeologists. I don't want to dig. I want to nap. How about we take turns digging? Then we'll not get so tired. <laughs> I'm not digging anymore. I want to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm with her. I'm bored with digging in the dirt. Probably time we all thought about heading home. Everyone's tired. But we're archaeologists. What happened to your patience, guys? It's, it's run, run out. out. Well, 
I've got lots left and I don't feel like giving up. <laughs> oh, looks like you found something interesting. <laughs> Right? Let me look at what you've dug up there. Whoa! This is indeed a vase from an ancient tribe. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a remarkable find, my junior archaeologists. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kittens <gasps> and daddy. And especially thanks to Candy's patience, the local museum got an exciting new exhibit. Walkie Talkies. One day, Mommy and Daddy gave the kittens an unusual gift. Dear kittens, these wonderful gadgets are called Walkie Talkies. Over. Hear you loud and clear. With them, you three can talk to each other from a distance. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Attention, this is Candy, and I'm laying on my bed. Over! Uh, attention, this is Pudding. I'm just here in the kitchen eating an apple. Over. This is Cookie. I'm looking out the window. Let's play outside. Over. I'm coming. Me too. This is Cookie, and I'm outside. Over. Um, yeah, we can see you. We can hear you too, Cookie. I guess we really only need these walkie-talkies when we're way far away from each other. This is Candy here, and I'm in Africa. Over. This is Pudding here, and I'm up in the Arctic Circle. Over. Hey, can anybody down there hear me? Over. Walkie-talkies don't work when you're in orbit. Did that lawnmower just pass by on its own? Never mind that. Let's figure out cool stuff to do with our walkie-talkies. Well, we could give one to Mommy so she's always able to get in touch with us. But that's why we have a telephone. And plus, everyone would hear whatever Mommy was saying. Careful on the fly, Cookie Kins, or you'll tear the backside of your pants like you did last time. Oh, shush, Mom. The backside of your pants? <laughs> uh, why does that lawnmower keep running around everywhere by itself? I don't know. Just like I don't know what to use these walkie-talkies for. It sort of seems like they're not really that useful. Attention, huh? this huh? is the police inspector speaking. Oh. The city gardener's lawnmower has gone missing. Please report it if you spot it. Over. Me, wow. It sounds like Cookie managed to find the police walkie-talkie huh? station. That's given me a really good idea. Kitty Cat Search Squad here, reporting a break in the case. We've seen the lawnmower. It's running on its own. Over. Cookie? Candy? Pudding? Yes, it's, it's us. us. Then, by all means, continue the search. Report back with any new information. Over. Great. Great. Copy, Copy that. that. Oh, wow. We'll be looking for the lawnmower just like real life police officers. I found some lawnmower tracks here. They lead right inside this bush. Over. Oh. I found some lawnmower tracks around the big old oak tree. Over. And I see lawnmower tracks pretty much everywhere. I'm fairly sure I can hear the lawnmower. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, I see it. It's headed away from us towards home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Police, come in! The Kitty Cat Search Squad have found the lawnmower in our old backyard! Roger that. I'm on my way. Uh, oh, yeah! My beautiful lawnmower! Oh, Daddy missed you so much! Come on, stop! Please? Stop, lawnmower! Woo! <laughs> I can't thank oh. you enough for finding it. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's the Kitty Cat Search Squad that you should thank. Oh, cookie, candy, and pudding. Thanks, friends. Our pleasure. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh, 
What a remarkable job you've done trimming our lawn. <laughs> Come inside, everyone, and enjoy some freshly baked muffins. Mommy here. Tea and muffins are on their way. Do you copy? Over. Yeah, loud and clear. Now, if anyone needs to find something, the Kitty Cat Search Squad will always be ready to help. Scarecrow. One day, the kitty cats went to visit Grandma. Stay away, chicky birds. Ah, all done. All the seeds are planted. Soon we'll have a garden full of lovely carrots. Ah, hey! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Granny, why are you scaring the birds away? Are they doing something wrong? Well, unfortunately, they were. If I didn't stop them, they'd eat every seed I plant. And if I didn't shoo them off, da ah, scat! I wouldn't have a garden. Oh. Let's help Granny protect her garden from the seed thieves. All right, great idea. It's gonna be so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks for the help, my darling kittens. I'll go and start on the lunch. Oh. The kittens found it easy to shoo the birds away, but they didn't stay away for long. <laughs> I'm too tired to keep running like this. Uh, well, why don't we just stand here? They probably wouldn't come back if we did that. No way! Standing around all day? Boring! <gasps> What if we painted some big pictures of ourselves and left them right where we are now? The birds will think we're still standing here and stay away. Candy painted lovely portraits of herself and her brothers. But unfortunately, they didn't scare the birds at all. Hey! Shoo, birdies! Cookie, I think that the birds can tell that these are just drawings and aren't really us at all. Then I think we have to build something that looks like a real scary kitten. Come on, let's try. Yeah, but it must be really scary, so the birds are too terrified to come near it. The kittens found stuff around Granny's garden and made a terrifying scarecrow. They were really scared. <laughs> Goodness, who is that? What are you doing here? Speak or I'll call the police. Granny, it's okay. That's just our super duper scarecrow. It will scare any bird who dares to enter the garden. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea, children. Oh, but it also scares grandmothers. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that thing for long. Hmm. Perhaps there's a less scary way to protect the seeds. We could cover the dirt with something. That way the birds wouldn't be able to get to the seeds. But how would the carrots be able to grow then? They'd have no sunshine. We could put up a humongous fan to blow the birds away. But how is Granny going to water the garden then? Oh. Oh. oh, the birds are back. They're not even a little bit scared. Oh, boy, aren't they scared of anything at all? Huh? Hang on, look at that. The pinwheel, they're afraid of the pinwheel. It spins around and makes a clicking noise as well. Then I know just what the garden needs. My darlings, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? What do you think of it, Granny? These are our beautiful scarecrow wheels. Well, I had no idea it was possible to scare birds away with something that beautiful. My darlings, you're the cleverest kittens ever. Still, I feel bad for the birds. Won't they go hungry now without any seeds? We can help them. How about we feed them some nice, yummy crumbs? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kitty cats, Granny's seeds grew safely and the birds got some food. Playing in the dark. One night, 
Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Whoa! The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah! Cookie Pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. <laughs> going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this, Candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> And this is a butterfly. Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Uh -huh. Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh -huh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! Oh. It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. Off to the races. One day, the kittens brought remote-controlled cars to the playground. Now car number one speeds ahead of the pack, rounding all obstacles. Hey, I think we should build our own racetrack on the playground. So we can have a race? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But I want to be in the race as well. Do you even know how to drive these cars? Well, no, but I'd really like to learn. May I? Uh, okay, fine. 
This drives the car forward, and this button makes it go backward. Finally, you steer it by turning hmm. this little wheel. Ah, it seems simple enough. Not that way. No, oh. stop. Um, let me try to back up. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh, no. Which way are you going? Oh. Go backwards. Reverse. Well, that's huh? about enough of that. Everybody oh. knows that girls aren't any good at driving. They just aren't quick enough. Uh, but girls are really good at pushing strollers, so that's something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here, let's put a really sharp turn. And then we can put a ramp here. I'm gonna prove to them that girls are every bit as good at driving cars as boys are. Candy found the remote control that operates her robo-fish. Excellent, now I just need a little practice. Uh, uh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh. 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 Uh, ow! Oh, come on! Oh, not that way! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, wait, wait, I said! Huh? Just stop! not true at all. Driving fast doesn't mean driving well. When I drive home from the supermarket, I try to avoid every pothole and bump and turn very gently because I don't want to spill my groceries everywhere. <laughs> I've got a really good idea. Candy drove the robofish very carefully to keep her favorite doll safe. <laughs> All set for the race? Yeah. Huh? Um? <laughs> what is that thing? A sardine mobile? <laughs> <laughs> Candy the sardine driver. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Candy. Hurry up. Flap your fins faster. <laughs> <laughs> Drivers, start, start your, your engines. engines. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Across the line first. It's first, middle, and last. And Candy wins and we all lose. It looks like girls can become good drivers after all. And since I was victorious, you boys have to push my doll carriage. Just do it carefully, please. Turns out not only being fast, but also being careful can help win the race, no matter how big or small. Nap time. One day, the kittens were visiting Grandma. <laughs> Now then, little kittens, it's time for your nap. You can get some lovely rest right there in your nice new hammocks. Nap time? But naps are for little babies. Oh, we wanted to blow bubbles after lunch. Yeah, that's way more fun than sleeping for an hour. Little ones, it's good to have a nice healthy rest. Come along, you might just have a great idea in your sleep. For example, one time a well-known scientist dreamed up a wonderful invention whilst he was sleeping. And it became a very famous scientific discovery. One very famous artist would lay down to sleep and then wake up and paint the extraordinary and crazy things he dreamed about. 
to go back to our original plan. <laughs> oh. mm. Cookie, Candy, what's this? Why aren't you sleeping? Well, because, uh... Oh, the mosquitoes are bugging us. Grandma hung up special nets to protect the kittens from insects. The mosquitoes won't bother you any longer. Sleep well, kittens. We have to find a place to blow bubbles where Grandma won't be able to see us. <laughs> My kittens. Huh? You're still not sleeping? Well, um, you see, the ducks are keeping us up. That's right. With all their quacking and quacking, how could we sleep? <laughs> Oh, I guess they must be hungry. We need to find some food for them. <coughs> now then, the ducks won't bother you two at all. But Cookie and Candy didn't want to take a nap. Cookie, candy, pudding, Daddy's here. Keep it down. The kittens are taking a nap. <laughs> Doesn't look like they are to me. Sorry, Grandma, but we don't need naps anymore. They're really just no use at all. You're wrong about that. Guess what? While I was sleeping, I came up with a way to blow a whole bunch of bubbles at one time. <laughs> wow, we! Hey, Pudding, you're a genius! <laughs> I know what we should do next time. We should actually sleep when Grandma says it's nap time. Then maybe we'll dream up some really great ideas. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that taking a little rest during the day is very useful and good for you. Lifeguards. One day, the kittens and daddy were visiting grandpa. <sighs> what a perfect day for fishing. I'll sail out a little way and catch a whopper that's humongous. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kittens, we'll be fishing closer to shore than your father will be, but you still need to wear your life jackets. Back in my lifeguard days, cats would sail with no life jackets at all. Were you really a lifeguard, Grandpa? So cool. That must have been the coolest. Hmm? <laughs> oh, help me! Help! Lifeguards just like Grandpa. Wait a minute. Who are we supposed to save? There's no one here but the fish and the seagulls. You got that right. No one to save out here. So let's just catch some fish. It's fun if you give it a chance. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
No! Almost lost it. Oh, yeah. Let's toss this overboard and then rescue it from the water like real lifeguards. No, it'll get soaking wet. Shh, titties. You'll scare the fish. Hey, Candy, what if you were to jump in the water and we could save you? Come on. You're wearing a life vest. But that's not fair. It's your idea you jump in. Then Pudding and I will save you. Huh? No way. I don't want to be saved. I want to be the saver. <laughs> We can save the fish from the seagulls. Oh. Hey, burgling bird. Hmm. Aw, we make lousy lifeguards, don't we? Aha, uh -huh, I got a bite. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Ah! Daddy had accidentally turned the boat motor on. Huh? Help! Huh? Oh. Daddy! Oh. Daddy! My son! Uh, oh. Attention! It's time for a real rescue operation! <laughs> Daddy! The lifeguards are coming! Now grab my paws. But Daddy got swept up by the current. Kittens, throw your Daddy this rope and pull him to the boat just like a fish on a hook. Oh. Our paws were too slippery to hold on. We are the worst lifeguards ever. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We'll catch Daddy with our... Rods. A wonderful idea, Candy. Let's do it. So the kittens went daddy fishing. <laughs> You've really caught a big one, kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kittens. You just saved your daddy. That means you're real lifeguards. And don't worry about the broken rods. I'll buy you some new ones as a reward for saving my sweet little boy here. <laughs> <laughs> My boat! Grandpa turned off the motor on Daddy's boat. Careful now, or we'll have to save Daddy all over again. <laughs> <laughs> That evening, everyone enjoyed the fish Daddy caught, and the kittens told Mommy all about their rescue mission.